Dear teacher and friends, I will try to briefly explain what I did as the term project. Since my project is about musical composition, I will talk about some basic musical terms. Then, I will be explaining which methods are implemented step by step. Finally, I will run the program with some inputs. Music is defined as a collection of coordinated sounds. These sounds are denoted by some symbols, which we call note. There are seven main notes, from A to G. Frequency intervals between B, C, and E, F are half of other pairs of notes. In order to have the same interval between each pair, five additional notes exist. These are black ivories in piano. Therefore, there have been 12 notes in total. Other sounds are obtained by increasing or decreasing the frequency of these notes. The interval between each Z to B, which are eight notes apart, constitutes an octave. In the figure, fourth and fifth octaves are shown. The last terms are beat and rest. In music theory, beat is the basic unit of time. Think it like a pulse, which is a regularly repeating event. On the other hand, intervals of silence are called rest, and rests also have a beat, just like notes. Combining the notes and rests with their beats to make a piece of music is called musical composition. There are several studies which combine software and musical composition process. My project is a simpler form of existing musical composition applications. Briefly, the aim is to combine the given songs and composing a new song which satisfies given similarity ratios. I have implemented a genetic algorithm since the nature of musical composition seems appropriate for it. Each note is represented by three parts. Octave, which is a number, note name, like in the table, and beat, which is a real number. For instance, the C note in fourth octave, and having 0.5 beat, is represented as 4 CN 0.5. rests are represented as rn and its beat because they do not have an octave for instance the rest having two beats is simply rn2 songs are represented as a sequence of notes and rests just like in the example these were string representations for input and output however some numerical representations are needed in order to have a fitness value for each song. Therefore, MIDI note numbers are used for each note in each octave, and beats are handled as double data type. By the way, there is no MIDI number for rest, so zero is used for it. In the left figure, MIDI numbers of notes are shown. For example, C note in 4th octave is 60, and C number note in 4th octave is 61. Besides the parameters of genetic algorithm, like generation count, crossover, and mutation rates, local search size, and so on, reference songs and their desired similarity rates are read from a text file. Text file contains number of songs, length of the songs, similarity rate of a song, notes of that song, and, optionally, maximum interval between two consecutive notes. After following the steps of the genetic algorithm, the best song, its fitness, feasibility, and the runtime are printed to console. Also, the best song is played. Shown steps of the genetic algorithm are followed. 
Now, I will try to explain briefly preferred methods in each step. As you may guess, each individual is a song, and each gene is a note, a rest, with its beat. Initial population contains randomly generated songs. It means, each note, a rest, is selected uniformly, to create a random song. Then, parents are selected by using tournament method, among a given number of individuals, that is tournament size. Best individual is selected according to its fitness or its fitness and feasibility, which is called superiority of feasible. One point crossover method, illustrated in the figure, is used with a probability PC. It is observed that low crossover probabilities, around 0.4, perform better for this GA solution. Although high PC values, like 0.7 or 0.8, are preferred commonly. To mutate a gene, either its note or rest, or its beat is exchanged with a randomly selected note or rest or beat. Each gene of each individual is mutated with a probability PM. 60% of selected genes are mutated by changing its note, or rest. It is observed that higher mutation probabilities, like 0.4 or 0.5, perform better. Intuitively, if we take the difference between the given similarity rate of each song in the text file and the actual similarity rate of an individual, then we sum these differences, we will get the fitness value of that individual. Actual similarity rate and fitness calculation can be formulated, as in the current slide. Please notice that an individual with smaller fitness value is assumed to be better. If a limit for the interval between two consecutive notes is specified, this constraint is handled by either penalty or death penalty methods. For an infeasible individual, in penalty method, we add a penalty value to the regular fitness. In death penalty method, we assign the maximum double value as the fitness. If there is no constraint, regular fitness value is calculated, as in the previous slide. In order to enhance the performance, a local search method is implemented, which is called first better neighbor method. In first better neighbor method, a gene is selected randomly and mutated. Original song is replaced with the first song, which has a better fitness. This process is repeated at most search size times. Meanwhile, search size is set via a parameter in order to increase diversity. Finally, the program terminates when the generation count reaches the maximum number of generations or when the best individual of current generation has a fitness less than the minimum error allowed. Let's run the program with three instances. First instance contains only one song and desired similarity rate is 0.8. When we run the program, it will play the song, which was in the text file. Then, the genetic algorithm will process with given parameters, and, obtained best song will be played. As you see, the similarity rate of best song is very close to the desired similarity rate, which was 0 0.8.
Now, let's run the program with the second instance. It also contains only one song, and desired similarity rate is 0.7. This time, there is a constraint. The interval between two consecutive notes can be maximum 8. Let's see together what we will get. Since there was a constraint, the runtime was a bit longer, but it produced a more mellifluous or fluent song. Finally, let's run the program with the third instance. It contains two songs, and desired similarity rates are 0.4 and 0.6. These two songs will be played first. Then, produced best song will be played, as usual. As you see, the similarity rates are close to the desired similarity rates, which were 0.4 and 0.6. However, when we give similarity rates such that one of them is very dominant, like 0.8 and 0.2, the produced song has more distant similarity rates because two songs in the text file have some same notes as well. That's all I can tell about my project. Thank you all for your attention and understanding about my way of presenting.